what day is it? Day six. Day six. That's what happens when you're holidaying around, you forget what day it is. <laughs> hey guys, day six of the uh, mega road trip. Um, what town are we in? Kuma. Kuma. So we stayed tonight in Kuma. Um, I think you would have seen a couple of um, bits and pieces of footage yesterday on the room that we got for $70. It was absolutely fantastic. Had a view over the town. Anyway, we're going to head a little bit further south and then west pretty much and we're going to follow the snowy mountain scheme so it'll be really exciting come along for the ride through Threadbow and pulled up to have a look at this forestry. Have a look at the eerie trees that are here. They've just been through a snow season. We're pulled up at a beautiful creek at Kosciuszko National Park and this water is so fresh and clear that you can drink it. it tastes beautiful. guys this is one of the snowy hydro power stations you can see the water churning there one of the generators is running there's a station here the water flows down these massive big pipes which is coming from the water catchment down into the power station and then through to where you saw just a second ago into the generators the hum that you can hear is the uh, transformers here so they actually step the voltage right up to thousands and thousands of volts and then goes out on these transmission lines. This station's called the Murray One. Somebody's car didn't make it up the range. I have no idea on what this is, but we found this little fella out on the road. Here you go, matey. What is it? You think it's a salamander? A raise hat? Okay, we don't know what it is. We're back to that. Isn't he cool? Have a look at him. He's minding his own little business. We've probably saved his life by getting him off the road. Catch you later, matey. As we travelled further down the road, we came across this cabin here. Check this out, we're gonna go in, have a look at this. We'll come back and have a look. Look at that, in the middle of nowhere. We'll come in and we'll have a look. Go through the doorway. It's got a fireplace. And an area here where you put your swag and sit and eat. Then when you wake up in the morning, You've got this view. During the winter it snows around here. So imagine how exciting that gets. This massive dam wall is forming part of the Snowy River Hydro Scheme. Check out the sides of it. Have you ever been in a really high place and thought, I wonder what that would feel like to jump? Well, looking at that, I think it would hurt. But it's a spectacular view. We're pulled up at the town of Cabramurra. This is the highest town in Australia, as far as elevation goes from sea level. Hey guys, we're heading towards the Yurangabili. Is it Yurangabili? Yurangabili um, Caves. This will be exciting, we're gonna take you through. So come along for the adventure. 
We're just coming around the corner now to the cave entrance. It's going to be exciting. There's the cave entrance we've got to squeeze into that. Ah, just joking. Look at that. Absolutely massive. Have a look at this. It turns out that hole that we're looking at now has actually collapsed some time ago and that's the remnants of it there. We're about to head in there, how exciting is that? This area here gets quite tight, so we've got to stoop down to go through. But it's so exciting, it's like you're on an adventure. You're seeing stuff that a lot of people just don't get to see. We're still climbing, it looks like we're about to come out into a nice big open area. Oh, look at that, that's amazing. Outside before we came in, it was actually really quite hot, it felt like about 30 degrees Celsius. We now know how cavemen did it because this got its own climate control. It feels like it's about uh, 10 degrees Celsius at most. It's really quite cool. The section of roof that we have over us now is around about oh, probably 30 to 40 metres up. So we've gone from being cramped and having to stoop to excessively high ceilings, but we're just looking at that high ceiling again from a different angle and apparently they call it the Grand Dome and they're expecting it to collapse one day, so we're going to exit right about now. That adventure was a lot of fun and now we're going to go and swim in a thermal pool. Check this out. This is a thermal pool and we can't wait to get into it. We're looking at the bottom of the thermal pool now. Have a look at that, they've got stuff growing in it. So once we get in, I'm going to take you for a bit of a dive and, have, and take a close look at that. Well, we've made it into the thermal pool, let's go for a dive and check out the bottom. 